Well, as we approach the bottom side of Lock 41, Gamebridge Lock on the uh, 240 mile long Trent Severn Waterway here in Ontario, Canada, it comes to mind that I'm often asked what channel do the locks or the Lockmaster monitor on VHF? They don't. So, please, my American friends, if you're doing the loop or just traveling here or any boaters doing it for the first time, don't waste your time trying to hail a lock station or even for that matter, Swing Bridge. We just passed through Swing Bridge number 50, I believe, uh, Lakeshore uh, Swing Bridge. Just where you come off of Lake Simcoe, heading eastbound on the Trent Severn Waterway. And they do not they do not monitor VHF radio traffic either. So <laughs> don't bother trying to call them because they won't hear you and they're not gonna answer. The only thing is that you could do is look up their phone numbers because all lock stations have individual phone numbers so you can try calling them ahead of time uh, just to get the a, a report on the status I've often done it myself especially if we're coming to a lock where we are hoping to stay at the lock overnight I'll just gonna shout maybe 10 15 minutes out and just say uh, you know what's it look like is there any room on the gray wall to tie up and they're always most accommodating and they'll let you know what's what or again if you come around a corner and you're not sure what the lock is looking like and you want to uh, lock through but not necessarily wait on the blue line, I'll often call ahead of time, just say, you know, if you're locking down, you're only gonna be 10, 15 minutes, we'll just hang back because it's easier for us, I find, just to kinda uh, float and idle and bounce around in the channel or a lake as it approaches a lock rather than have to go to the blue line then get off the blue line, especially if the blue line's busy. Now I'm gonna leave a link down in the description uh, to a couple of videos that I produced already on how to pass through a lock, the etiquette and the rules and how to do it, as well as what lock and mooring fees cost along the Trent Severn Waterway. So I invite you to look at that as well. And let me know what you think. So that's it for this one. Uh, we are gonna get back to traveling because we are on holidays and traveling through the system. And I will see you on the next one, my friends. Cheers.